It's this country, the country that you have so much disdain for that allows you the right to speak your mind. So don't ask if your dreams are crazy. It protects your right to be a whiny, indulgent, attention-seeking crybaby. Ask if they're crazy enough. And Colin, if this country disgusts you so much, leave. Believe in something. Is our country perfect? No. But what have you done to make it better? Even if it means sacrificing everything. Tommy Lauren worked at The Blaze. Now, Tamitha has graduated to Fox News as we know, and she's continued her assault on Colin Kaepernick. And I use the word football player very loosely when it comes to Kaepernick. They don't need to penalize these players for kneeling. We will do so. The country that is so oppressive, Cap, the adopted son of two white people, was able to rise through the ranks of career athletics. So when she sees this headline, Colin Kaepernick's Nike ad garners an Emmy nomination she tweets this, Crybaby Kaepernick's Nike commercial is nominated for an Emmy for what? Best comedy? What a joke. To which I simply replied, this tweet is literally you crying. When Cap won SI's Muhammad Ali Legacy Award, Tommy tweeted, Police hating Beyonce presents police and America hating Cappy with a Legacy Award. This is how far we've fallen. Wow. To which Jesus and Mero said, Police hating Beyonce? Did she stay on Beyonce's deck. Oh, wow. Yeah. All in all, she's mad at this. Out of that protest by Colin Kaepernick, 49ers quarterback knelt instead of standing during the national anthem. Colin Kaepernick expressing his First Amendment right to kneel during the national anthem because he wants to bring awareness to black people being three times more likely to be executed by police. But the ad just doesn't target Colin Kaepernick. It targets Serena Williams, who appears in the Nike ad and has stood up for equal pay. The day I stop fighting for equality and for people like that look like you and me, It'll be the day I'm in my grave. Something you'd want to get behind. Tammy also went after Shaquem Griffin, the one-handed Seattle Seahawks player who has inspired so many, including Daniel Carrillo, who was born with one hand and invited Daniel to a Hawks game. Tammy's vitriol also targets LeBron James, who opened the I Promise School in his hometown of Akron, which offers tuition, uniforms, bikes, transportation, free meals, food. I mean, come on. That school, one year since it opened, 90% of the students have met or exceeded their growth goals. Tomato Tam also goes after Isaiah Bird, a 10-year-old wrestler who was born without legs. Zaina Nassar, a female Muslim boxer who wears a hijab, or as Janine Perro would say, Omar wears a hijab. Nassar would say, I don't just fight for myself, I fight for all women. Tamitha also goes after Megan Blunk, who unfortunately was paralyzed from the waist down after she was riding as a passenger on a motorcycle. The driver lost control and slid off the road. This caused Blunk to break 18 bones in her body and become permanently paralyzed. Like Alfonso Davies, who was born in a refugee camp in Ghana and made his MLS debut at 15. Lacey Baker, the first openly gay skater on Nike's skateboarding team. Charlie Jabbily who reversed the progression of a lifelong brain tumor, dropped 120 pounds, and became an Iron Man, and Alicia Wolcott, homecoming queen, and a varsity linebacker. You see, this is the lack of hindsight the Republican Party enriches. It is selfishness over the liberal selflessness. It is cruelty over compassion. It's bigoted attacks. I mean, Megan Rapino said this. This is my charge to everyone. We have to be better. We have to love more, hate less. And she was torn to shreds. Her preaching inclusivity resulted in hate. For all of that and more, look no further than someone like Tommy Lauren.